Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin So today I have a special guest, Dr. Mark Chen. Um, he's gonna show us something very special and very unique. So I did Tai Chi when I was a kid, but I never knew that Tai Chi can be used in combat. So today he's gonna break down how to use combat using Tai Chi. Okay, so for myself, thank you for that kind introduction. For myself, the first time I got introduced to Tai Chi, I saw my dad training. And as a little kid, I'm watching him train. He's doing his form, and I'm like, you know, he's doing all this slow motion stuff. And I thought it was really weird, really, really weird. So I'm like, of course, with a little kid, you try and tell them not to laugh, and they're going to try and laugh. They're just going to laugh harder. Correct. So I'm watching my dad train, and like, finally, the laughter just erupts out. And he's looking over at me like, what's so funny? And I go, it just looks really funny, Dad. I mean, like, he goes, don't laugh. This is martial art, which I thought was even funnier um, because it's like <laughs> doing all this slow motion stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's martial art. And he goes, okay, throw a punch. So, like, if you were throwing a right, and he went, oh, no, like, oh, nice. Did this, but, like, with a gentle carry and then kind of slung me across oh, the room. That's cool. Hold on. Can we show that at this angle? So let me show you what this looks okay. like in terms of form, right? Because when you see the form, you're like... Yeah, uh-huh, Chinese shadow boxing, which is one of the nicknames of Taiji. So the name of the move is Shouhui Pipa, like hands playing the, the pipa or the lute, right? Like air guitar. Mm -hmm. But normally it's done like that. Oh. So the same move, if I parry it around the, this way. Oh, wow. And now this becomes an upward elbow lock. Yes. Now, when... I do the pull of this part of the air guitar that actually not only straightens out the elbow, but it also opens up the shoulder joint. Now that gives mm. me that shoulder oh, man, that's dislocation painful. upward this way. That's painful. So when I get the pull and then the return, so when I'm like rocking out to the air guitar, right? This is the pull, upward lock, the twist, and then... Yes. The, mom the moment you twist my, my wrist, I felt the joint just turn this way. And that almost caused a hyperextension Correct. into my elbow. Correct. Wow. So you're attacking two joints at one time with that. Okay. So this goes into what we were talking about earlier before we started recording. Mm -hmm. Most of the Chinese martial arts really have four fundamental skills. We talk about it in Mandarin as ti da shui na, kick, punch, throw, and lock. Mm. So the way it was explained to me is Tai Chi Chuan is also a traditional Chinese martial art. Mm -hmm. So as such, it should encompass those four basic skills. You should be able to kick, you should be able to punch or, or strike, you should be able to throw or take mm -hmm. down, and you should be able to joint lock. So what oh. I just demonstrated was a joint lock. So does Tai Chi include all four elements? Yes, absolutely. So let me give you another example, right? Okay. In form, there's, okay, we'll go from the top, T, right? I'll start it this way just so you guys can see it in a, in a particular form. And for the health benefits, you can obviously see that like I'm working posture, I'm working balance, I'm working all those things, right? Mm -hmm. But in terms of application, can I have you on this side, yes. please? Okay, so the idea is it's like if you come in whatever attack, right? Right. Oh, nice. I'm not going to actually block this like that perfectly. That was just a random <laughs> collision. But like I can deflect like this with the kick. And then from here I can... Wow. Okay, so let's look at... Uh, a phrase and movement of, from the Yang style long form. And the form itself is going to look like this. There's a kick, there's a step in, this real aesthetic looking thing, hmm. and then a second kick, right? This is very standard large frame old Yang style large frame form. So in application of an attack, I'm going to kick, but my arm is going to be directly over my leg. Mm. Covering center line. So I'm going to deflect this and kick at the same time. And then I'm going to step in. Now, if I want to be a jerk about this, I'm going to step on <laughs> your foot. This is very typical for Tai Chi Yeah, because now I cannot move. Or I'll do this. Oh, nice. Um, but if I'm doing this, let's say I'm going to be really nice. Okay. Here and you give me rough. Step. Okay. <laughs> so again, from that form, you see mm -hmm. this. There's that groin kick. Pop. And then as the groin gets kicked... The head comes forward. Mm. That allows me to cut behind the neck and then push the face mm. up and over and then there's a down. Wow. If I just want to do the drop, I get that drop. 
if I don't want to be so nice, pop, spin, and then pop. Oh, wow. So there's that second kick. That's so cool. you notice that in the form, I have the first kick, I have that spin, I have the second kick. And oh. so that second kick goes to the back of the head. That's cool. Because it was spinning me, my body turns this way, and that's when you fire through a second kick yes. to the back of my neck. Exactly. Wow. So you're using a manipulation to set up your subsequent attack, which I think is kind of a cool thing you yeah. see in Tai Chi Chen. Right? Blow so, my mind. <laughs> yeah. So again, oh, and this is another, another kind of vignette. Mm. Um, one time I got taken to Knott's Berry Farm during Halloween, which is a, a not scary farm, the Halloween haunted house. Um, and of, I remember that particular year I was ridiculously sick. Nose was running sore throat the whole nine yards, running a crazy fever. And back then the goblins were like the people dressed up as goblins mm -hmm. were allowed to touch or scare you like that. For whatever reason, there was one coming out of my blind side. Mm -hmm. I was half awake and then for whatever reason I just turned and through a Tai Chi technique of all things. But um, this was it, so. Nice. And so if you want to look at striking, there's a simultaneous strike mm. with a hand as well as a kick. Now this particular kick is inside out. It's what I call a rolling kick. So from this angle, it's going to look, instead of just this, like an oblique kick, mm -hmm. it's going to kick around. Oh. Right, so kicking the knee from inside out. So as you're coming here, Nice. I'm kicking that way. Wow. And so it's a little bit different. Notice how I'm not like stomping straight against the joint. You're going that I'm direction. buckling the joint outward so that opens you up for me to be able to enter in that way. That's cool. Right. So we've looked at joint techniques first uh -huh. from the hands to the peepaw. Mm -hmm. We've seen kicking. Uh-huh. Striking. Okay. Yep. Right. And then you have the... the the throws, the takedowns. Right, exactly. Oh, wow. So how would you break down um, a very specific, because I see a lot of Tai Chi do, like, I don't do Tai Chi, by the way, guys. It's like this type of motion. Okay, well, Dan motion. yeah. So actually, there's, there's one that's called a single whip in English, or Dan Bien. There's a movement that comes in, uh -huh. hands and foot go out, and then up and over. This it's, is a very, very... Um, Trademark Tai Chi. Yes. <laughs> so what's the purpose, purpose of doing this type of motion? So this is a beautiful thing in Yang style, mm -hmm. at least as I understand it. Uh -huh. Range dependent, that same move can take on different applications. Mm -hmm. So may I have you over here? Yes. Okay, so from long range, mm -hmm. like if you were to strike. Oh, nice. Right? So there's this, mm. which, which is just a, a palm shot. A little bit closer, it becomes a oh, what? Oh, nice. An elbow shot. Mm -hmm. A little bit closer still, pop. Oh, nice. And there's the throw. Wow. So depending on range, you're going to get a different vibe or a different feel. So again, longer range, pop, boom. A little bit closer, pop, boom. Elbow shot, right? Mm. So now I'm able to hit with the elbow. Correct. Closer still. Again, I'm here. I mean, you off balance me. Right, exactly. So this is why that pull is here. Oh. I don't necessarily need to keep holding the hand. It's more like I just off balance you and then I come in with this. That's cool. So even though it's the same technique, depending on range, you have different use of the structure, I guess, application. Absolutely. So one of the cool. first ones that you see in Yang style is this, right? This particular move, mm -hmm. Sparrow's Tail. So long range, uh -huh. yeah, sure. Like okay. Boom. Nice. Very simple. Like a okay. little bit closer range. Oh, nice. So again, could be a throw. Um, let's, let's say he throws a left. Like, do I go, oh my God, now what do I do? Because he's throwing a left. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's the same that's movement, cool. right? That's cool. <laughs> so again, like this vibe can be either a straight out shot, depending on that range. Another closer range shot, it could be, depending on angle, a takedown. Uh-huh. Or other hand, it becomes a joint technique or oh. a joint break. Wow. So how would you, okay, this might be just an outside topic. Sure. How would you deal with someone grabs you? Grab me? Like this. Like this? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. So check this out. That's cool. First move that you see in the Yang style long form, watch the form for a second. Oh. 
Okay, so. I might never knew what this down. means. Down. So if you were to grab, like you said. Mm -hmm. You broke my balance. So I just pull you off a little bit towards me, mm. biasing this, and then like even if you maintain the grip, that's fine. Yeah, I have to let it go. Yeah, there's still that kind of pop. That's crazy. Wow, never knew, because I see people do this a lot, but I never knew what these are for. I thought it was just kind of sort of blocking and pushing sort of thing. Which it can be. I mean, like you'll still, like we've done like push hands before, right? Like you see it in Kali all the time, right? Yes. And in, uh, again, Taiji, Chinese martial arts are intrinsic in Kali and in a lot this of the Southeast This is very similar to eight, uh, Chi Sao in a way, right? Very similar in a lot of ways. It's a sensitivity drill. Mm. You, learn to, you learn to listen to what the other person's doing. But like, that's not the whole art. <laughs> you know, and a lot of times people will say that like, oh, push hands is the epitome of this or that. Mm -hmm. It's a great sensitivity skill. It's a great attribute development mm -hmm. exercise. But the be all end all is when it hits the fan. Wow. Freestyle. That's crazy. So the movement that you did earlier, ward off, pull back, press, mm. push, especially the ward off and pull back, like, you can see that done a bunch of different ways, if I may. Yes. So let's say you throw a left. Left? Yeah. Oh. This is common. Nice. Right? Now, if I want to break it down a little bit more, mm. there's Strike. the hit, and then I can slide back down into the arm break as well, right? <laughs> nice. If I want to change the uh, distancing a little bit more, remember we were talking about range. Mm. That's And then it becomes terrible. chiropractic. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. That's crazy because you just twist my neck and it's kind of make me fall. Yeah, but I'm doing it in an angle that's very rude. So yeah, I can feel it. So I'm going to go slow, but. Mm. Wow. You're making my neck go up and tilting, twisting my head at the same time. Right. While I'm pulling you off your base over yeah. here into at that point. So that's basically why you do this type of stuff. Yeah. A lot of those moves are very um, structure manipulative. Yes. And when you grab, do you always control and then kind of bring the shoulder up? So kind of go off the shoulder, like uh, out of socket? Hmm. Uh, I never quite thought of that, but it sounds like something that makes sense. Yeah. That's what I feel. Because almost every time you, you grab, grab onto my limbs, I feel like you're pulling my shoulder out of socket so that way you kind of sort of manipulate the way I move. Yeah, I'm not necessarily thinking in terms of your shoulder socket as uh -huh. much as trying to think of like, I want to move you, like mm. your structure, and at least it, whether that's your shoulder socket and that allows me access to your spine. Yes. Or so cool. yeah, I'm I'm just I'm not quite thinking about it that necessarily that discriminately, but that makes sense. That's really cool. Well, I learned a lot today, sir. Thank you so much for your oh, help. Please, and then, totally my pleasure. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comment in the section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.